Today I want to show you how to access the USB update mode and factory reset your device. So this is a super common thing that I get asked about all the time. People email us about this and we get comments about it from people who are trying to do some basic troubleshooting and resolve basic issues. If you want to do something like sideload update your headset, which is a really useful feature for manually updating the firmware in troubleshooting, or you want to factory reset your device, which can help resolve a lot of issues, being able to access the USB update mode is a really important tool. So today I've popped a lens off of one of these uh, damaged LCDs. Don't worry, this one's gonna get replaced anyway. And this just seemed like a really good opportunity for me to show you how we access this menu because it's really hard to see through the lens, but it's really easy to see if you've got the lens popped off. So first things first, if the device is completely powered off, I need to hold the power button and the volume down button. I'm just gonna hold down on both of those for a few seconds and we'll get the USB update mode. Now from here we can boot the device. Let me get a little closer here. So from here we can boot the device. We can get the device info, which shows us the serial number. So this is good for cross-referencing, you know, that is this definitely my unit? I had this shop repair it, or I had fixed my Oculus repair it. How do I know this is mine? Um, your serial number here and here should match unless you've had the motherboard uh, changed out for some reason, maybe liquid damage, or you had a speaker arm replaced and so this component is, is different. But otherwise, these two numbers should match here and here. So we see the 52116 and 52116, right. So this is the motherboard that came with this headset originally. Um, there's a couple other things we can see. We can see the uh, it's the Hollywood model revision, so that's just Meta's code name for the operating system. And then we can see the partitions and the RAM size. So, and then next we have the factory reset option, and we have the side load update mode there. If you go into side load update mode, you can plug this into a computer. The light will turn purple here on the side once activated, and you can plug this into a computer. And then from there, you can either update your firmware from Meta's website, or if you have the operating system in a zip folder, you can just upload that directly via ADB. So back to factory reset. So if you want to factory reset your device, you can just just click on factory reset using the power button. So I didn't go over this a second ago, but my, I'm using up and down here just with the power button. So if I want to go down, I go down. If I want to go up, I just press volume up. And then if I want to select, I'll use the power button. So we'll go ahead and select factory reset, and then we'll go yes and erase factory reset. Yes, erase and factory reset. And then we'll get the logo. It'll go erasing. There was nothing on this device anyway, so it's only gonna take a second and then it'll go into its booting process. And we get the tone and then it should just boot up normally because we've just factory reset the device and there's nothing wrong with this headset other than the LCD is damaged. So we'll go ahead and turn this off again. And then I wanna show you one more thing. What happens if I hold the power button down and the volume up instead of the volume down? Cause right, we wanted to go into USB update mode. That's the power button and the volume down. What happens if we hold volume up? Well, I'll show you. Probably a lot of people have seen this screen before or seen pictures of it. We get the Android guy and Android guy says no command. So what do we do about that? I'm gonna hold down the power button real quickly and I'm just gonna press up, and that throws us into Android recovery mode. So now that I'm in Android recovery mode, I can see all sorts of things. Obviously, we can just reboot the system or we can power off the headset, but we can also boot to bootloader. We can enter fast boot from here, which is an interesting feature. Allows us to enter recovery mode. We're gonna go back to the bootloader. Cool, here's the bootloader. So we can go here, we're gonna go power off, go back into recovery mode here, all right and then hold that power button down again, and there we go, okay. And so there are some other cool, interesting features, like if I wanted to apply an update from ADB or apply an update from an SD card. I'm not sure why you would wanna do that, but it's, it's out there. Maybe you don't have a Windows computer, but for some reason you do have the operating system floating on an SD card somewhere. Would be weird. You can wipe the data from here. It's no different than factory resetting your device as far as I can tell. Um, we have 
some theories that maybe this did a deeper clean or kind of wiped the partitions, but in our experiments, nothing like that has happened. It just basically factory resets the device the same that you would do from the USB update mode. You can mount the system. You can view recovery logs. I suppose if you were really super inclined, you could kind of go through the recovery logs and just check things out. Um, maybe this reveals some information in your troubleshooting journey. I've never found it to be super useful for the repairs that we do here, because most of the repairs that we do here are our hardware repairs. You can run a graphics test. The other thing that you can do here is that you can run the locale test, which changes the language that the headset is in by default. So if I wanted to change the locale, I could change the default language of the headset so that when I boot it up, it'll be in whatever language we select here. Cool, so I'm back to English and we'll, uh, we'll select that. And, and that's, that's about it. The system's mounted, so we're just gonna reboot the system. Oop. We're just gonna reboot the system now. And then we're basically back to baseline. Anyways, that's all I really got for you guys today. I really just wanted to show you what you could do with USB update mode and what you could do with Android recovery, how they worked, and how you could factory reset your device if you were so inclined for whatever troubleshooting reason. Or maybe you're just trying to wipe the headset so you can sell it. Or maybe you're tired of your current account and you're just looking for a fresh start on things. But regardless of why you're doing it, it's a pretty easy process. And I think anybody can do this if they are so inclined. And yeah, that's it easy as that. That's all I got for you guys today. I appreciate you hanging out with me. If you get a chance to like and subscribe, it really helps us out. And we will see you guys on the next one.